All right, guys, I have this student, her name is Shreya. Recently, she's been going through these kind of tantrums in class where if she runs into something that she's not good at or doesn't get on the first try, she refuses to keep going and she throws a fit. For instance, we're working on a math packet right now and I like the kids to go in order because the problems get progressively harder and they kind of build on each other. Um, and she was just having problems with the first problem in the packet and instead of you know trying to work through it maybe thinking of different ways to go about it she just completely gives up she completely shuts down she says this is stupid she complains to everyone else at her table makes it everyone's problem she makes it my problem and you know I'm trying to think about how to deal with this and I think about William Glasser's choice theory and how he believes that students are completely responsible for their choices they make all their own choices and all their behavior is driven by these five needs for love and belonging survival power control and fun so when i think about shreya i think about how to help her i am thinking about okay what does she feel like she needs that she's not getting and from my perspective, I would say that she feels like she doesn't have power and control in this situation. She's probably frustrated because she's like, I'm supposed to start with this problem and I can't do it. And I don't, you know, I'm not supposed to move on and do the other ones yet. So I'm sure she just feels constrained and frustrated by her own lack of understanding. So in order to solve this behavioral problem, I go, I sit down with her. One of the biggest things in this theory that Glasser believed um, in terms of how this manifests in classroom management and expectations is that when you're solving a problem, you collaborate, you do it with the student. You don't tell them, hey, this is how it's going to be. This is how we're solving this. You sit down with them, you say, hey, Let's make a plan. What do you think is the issue here? What do you think you should change about your behavior? What can we do moving forward to make this better? So I sit her down, I say, hey, is there a different way that you'd like to maybe try working on this? I also ask her, you know, how do you think this makes your friends feel at your table when you complain like this? Like, Let's take a second, let's think about our actions, let's think about the people around us. You know, I want her to be aware of how her behaviors affect other people as well as her. Um, and that's another big thing with Glasser's theory is that students are responsible for their behavior, they're responsible for how they act, and they need to take accountability if we're going to give them that kind of autonomy. Um, so, you know, I tell her, hey, you know, I know you're supposed to do this packet and do all the problems in order, but obviously you're having some problems. So let's let's see how we can fix this together. Do you want to skip and come back later? Do you want to start at the back of the packet? Like, what can I do to help you? What do you think will be most effective to her, most effective for you moving forward? Um, so you know, I sit. I listen to her opinion. I listen to her tell me again that she thinks it's stupid that she has to do this at all. But eventually, you know, she does kind of calm down and she flips through the packet and she finds a problem that is easier for her. And she starts from there and she comes back to the first problem a few minutes later. And because she was able to kind of warm up on a different one first, it clicks. She's able to go through. She stops bothering the other people at her table. Um, and you know, this is effective because we listen to each other. We made a plan together. I supported her as she came up with kind of her own ideas for behavioral adjustments and gave her what she needed to do that while still letting her know like, hey, this behavior isn't okay and you do need to change it and I do expect you to be responsible for the way that you're behaving. Um, so that's choice theory. That's how I use it in my classroom. That's how me and Shreya figured out her problem.